Hi, my name is Alan Wan. I'm the supervising producer of Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Bring it in, group hug. And today we'll be drawing Raphael. Look, this is serious, fellas, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. When I start, I usually just block in a loose drawing. Nothing super committed can be very adventurous. Let's try and do rap in a more actually pose. For those who are learning how to draw, it's okay to rotate your drawing because your hand move in such a motion where sometimes you just cannot draw a good line in certain positions. So when that happens, just rotate your drawing. Well, since we're doing an action pose, we want to make sure the, the figure is a little more dynamic in posing. So here's a, a little rough drawing, um, and again, since it's a rough, we don't have to be super committed to what we have on the screen, um, because we can always edit whatever we don't like. start off with the head. There's a small point on Raph's head and it's uh, good to draw it in. Raph is the biggest turtle among the four brothers so um, his head is actually slightly wider than the rest of the guys. So when we move on to his shell, um, Raph has a very pointy shell and uh, there's a lot of hard um, corners. So it's a lot of fun to draw them uh, poking out. And his shell is actually really wide so we can actually be very broad. going to move on to the arms and one of the tricks to do um, an action pose is to have uh, a variations of curved lines and straight lines so uh, I'm gonna make the top muscles a little more curvy but the bottom part I'm gonna use a straight line so that way it feels like it's stretching when you're doing an action pose um, when you're doing a punch, because it's a straight motion, you want a straight line against some curved line, so that way we can feel the 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 power of your punch or the action pose. So in this case, we put a straight line here, so that way it feels a lot more dynamic.
The shell is actually dimensional and the turtles live inside the shell. So um, some of the belts and the um, design elements on the turtles can help you um, create some of that volume uh, in the shell. So I'm going to draw this. And uh, because um, the turtles are dimensional, when you draw the belt on this plane, it's going to be um, at this angle. And once we are going to turn on the side, we'll wrap around like that. So that, that's how you create that volume. Um, so now the turtles look a lot more dimensional. Now we're going to draw in the, the spikes on the back. Raph is a snapping turtle and uh, a snapping turtle actually has a lot of spikes on them. So that's why Raph also has a lot of spikes. To create some more dimensions, it's also good to drop shadows on the bottom of shapes and some of these edges. So moving on to the legs, um, Raph is a little more top heavy so his legs are slightly sh short in comparison to his body. Um, And then we're still going to use a little bit of that straight against curve to make the pose a little more dynamic and firm. Put in Raph's bandana color, which is red. So once we're finished with the drawing, if we want to get a little more dynamic feel, we can always add some speed lines. And uh, doing speed line is very easy. You can just find a vanishing point and then draw straight lines from the, your vanishing point. There you are, a very dynamic raft.